What is up? We got Nintendo Direct. Sorry for the red flashbang. Oh, I'm waiting. It's 10. It's just about 10. Start the thing already. Do the thing. How you doing, Tenjin? How you doing, Hermit? Wait, no Game Duel? No, you'll see Game Duel, but it's going to be after the Direct. Because this starts the time that I start streaming. I didn't want to... Um... I didn't want to play Game Duel over whatever might be the first announcement or whatever of the Nintendo Direct that I might care about, but probably won't. Hmm. Wow, you really just threw us into it, huh? Oh, never mind. I thought they were just going straight to a game. What's up, Zane? Hey, what the heck? Okay, I'm gonna preface this with how old are squidlings again? Inklings? That's what they're called. What am I looking at? Torso built like the letter D B. Yeah, exactly, right? Is this like a near collab? I don't think so. Hold on, how did the previous... Does this have something to do with, um... The Splatfest that ended Splatoon 2? No, wait, the Splatfest that ended Splatoon 2 was, um, Order and Chaos, right? And then Chaos won out, and that's why it started out looking like an apocalypse in Splatoon 3. So... Wow. Whoops, I forgot you could scroll down. Hello everyone, I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. You just saw a new trailer for Wave 2 of the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass DLC, Side Order. This brand new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you will strengthen your character's abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. We are developing oh. this single-player DLC so it can be played over and over again. Okay, cool. Roguelike, um, Splatoon. Now I'm interested. Now I might get the game. Okay, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. The Whoa, what? Back in town. You're kidding. Donkey Kong. I thought Mario. this was a one-time deal. The rivalry that heated up on the Game Boy Advance system reignites on the Nintendo Switch system. With his eyes on the prize, Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. And it's up to Mario to track him down. In each stage, contraptions and other challenges await. All right, I'm turning off quotes captions. This is not helping. And action are vital to your success. Mario needs to reach the key, but he can't quite cross the gap. Hmm. That monkey's tail looks a little suspicious, though, doesn't it? If Mario does this, now he can get across and safely grab the key. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip like that. Since when could Mario handstand jump? That's new. Observe and I think. to collect mini Marios. I'll play Mario games. Stages and face Donkey Kong head on. 
In this updated version of the game, you can play with a friend in local co-op. Hmm. However you choose to puzzle your way through, it's up to you to recover the toys. So wait, is this a remake? Donkey Kong launches on Nintendo or is this a new Switch game? February 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Save the prince and the world. I sleep, bro. Guide Sargon as he sets off to save the prince of Persia and restore the world's balance. Tapping into the roots of the Prince of Persia series, this game features 2D, side-scrolling action-adventure gameplay. Dash through breathtaking environments in a mythological, Persian-inspired world, but don't linger too long if you hope to survive. Harness sword and bow techniques, as well as time powers to best these hostile lands. As your journey progresses, Sargon will grow stronger and learn new abilities that expand his arsenal. Equip amulets to further boost your abilities, among other perks. The number of amulets you can equip is limited, though, so choose wisely. This game looks so... Disposal I love Metroidvanias. I want to establish that first, but this game looks so basic. Stand in your way. Get ready to I hope I'm not the, the only one that thinks and that. discover the mysteries of Mount Calf. When Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, launches on the Nintendo Switch system January 18th, you can receive it feels almost as if it has no identity, at least at first e glance, art style-wise or gameplay-wise. These games will help you chase your passions. It's just doing what other games already did. Hey, wait, what? Oh, a new Horizon Chase? Chase two. Speed through stunning environments. That's each surprising. With its own dynamic art style while overtaking your rivals on the road. Play the main campaign to unlock vehicles, courses, and more. You can also upgrade your vehicle and style it to fit your high octane needs. For who? For Who's going to see it? Action? Up to four speedsters can That's push not 60 to frames. In couch co op or online. Go full throttle in Horizon Chase 2. I really like how they show the online, but show the lack of good internet connection because people are like doing the back and forth thing. Rhythm based adventure. Time your button presses with the music to solve puzzles and battle bosses. Over 30 thrilling tracks await, including music from iconic Konami games. Well. I'm getting DMCA four stricken. friends can battle it out in versus modes or jam together in local or online play. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle launches on Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre-orders begin today on weird. Nintendo eShop. Anya, Anya Forger has a new assignment from school. What? Creating a photo diary. On weekdays, you'll head to what? class. Then enjoy family time in the evenings. On days off, you can visit all sorts of exciting places, like the beach or an art museum, in search of subjects to photograph. How will you spend your time with friends and family? And what kind of photo diary will you help Anya make? Spy Anya Operation Memories launches on Nintendo Switch next year. I... Mario's not the game RPG that I thought that would, not the series that I thought would get a game, the but Mario whatever RPG I guess. Game is back with updated graphics. We already knew this was Let's happening. Let's go over some new and returning gameplay features. Catherine. Time your button presses with action commands to increase damage dealt or decrease damage received. So have you ever played Prince of Persia? I haven't played the older ones, but I've seen a lot of the gameplay. I, I did play Sands of Time, I think. Not to completion, but I did play a bit of it. Also, this is a stream where Strunge doesn't look in chat again. Probably. At least not consistently. The move will change, so experiment with different combos. During your adventure, you'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. Hmm. But these powered Is up the bosses game? aren't gonna be easy. Ooh. Set off for adventure with Mario and friends when Super Mario RPG Part of launches me wants to on play the this. Nintendo Switch system November 17th. 
Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo I think this game is dumb. I feel like it's made for kids, like elementary and lower. Super Mario RPG or the one before that? Look alive. We're almost there. Is this a new IP, or is that someone I should have recognized? DS game, Spy X Family? Oh. Returns on the Nintendo Switch system as another code to memories. One day, a young girl named Ashley receives a letter from the father she thought had passed away. Seeking answers, she sets off for the solitary Blood Edward Island in search of him. Once there, Ashley encounters puzzles and obstacles that hinder her investigation. I'm really glad I don't have an eye tracker. Also meets a mysterious boy. What truths await Ashley in this place? And no matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Who are you? The sequel, Another Code R, Journey into Lost Memories, previously unreleased in North America, is also included. So this is like Juliet, huh? Play both games to experience the full story. Unravel both adventures, fully enhanced for Nintendo Switch, when another code, Recollection, launches January 19th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. This ain't the game for me at first glance. I'm not another interested, not even the slightest. It's for Nintendo someone, but definitely DS not me. Memory and its Wii sequel, which was never released in North America. Both games I am glad that they released Switch. the next game, though. To them early next and year. only didn't only localize next, the one. Please take a look Hate at it when this. stuff like that happens. <laughs> One day, a loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Princess Peach and some toads went to go see it, but then... The wicked grape and the sour bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. Huh. Now, it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play and the day. Oh, I was waiting for Mario to show His up. perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. Hey, Nintendo, okay, I don't know if I have to... The power of Stella's ribbon to Why do I have to be the one to remind you of this? You have IPs that aren't Mario. You know that, right? Can we get some F-Zero? Can we get some Star Fox? Can we get... Fire Emblem's popular, but eh. Those probably take a really long time to make. Please. <laughs> Whoa, Peach transformed into Swordfighter Peach. She's left-handed? By transforming, she can use fantastic left show-stopping abilities. Fend off the Sour Bunch with sensational swordplay. No way Peach is left-handed, right? Can Peach save this performance and its performers? There are more stolen shows to save. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. When are we porting Wario Master of Disguise? Clues and Wait, now she's using the... Who done it? I don't understand. What does it matter Dessert if she's left or right-handed? I just from this like left-handed chicks. I don't know why. Turn into Patissier Peach and save it from a sugar crash. The Sour Bunch got their hands on this martial arts school. Become Kung Fu Peach and take it back from these foul fiends. I'm actually kind of digging that outfit. Many other transformations are just behind the curtain. The stage is set. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. We're really doing Princess Peach, Wario Showtime. Master of Disguise Nintendo again, but with Nintendo Peach. Switch, March 22nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I, I guess I'm not going to complain. When are we getting a game about Daisy? When does that happen? look at Princess Peach Showtime. In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today, so please stay tuned. Let's continue with some more headlines. 
But wait, we can just recycle Mario games. A new saga begins. Totally plays like a Kirby game. Yeah. A multi-layered RPG full of rich stories awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. Okay. There Phoenix are six game. heroes to choose from. A wait. young man who fights with sentient puppets. Is this related to? A witch disguised as a schoolgirl to mask her identity. A crime-fighting duo chasing down. I'm wondering if that game is related. Oh my God, the a sticker is still. How long have you been on this case? Body. And a king of darkness. I'm very scared to take you off. Select a hero. Feel like you might have fused to the case by now. interconnected worlds oh, as they no. strive to achieve their goals. How the story unfolds is in your hands. Um, the choices you make can unlock different Hang on, different I gotta paths, peel the sticker off and then I'll show you. Before seen in the Saga franchise. Fight in timeline battles. Turn-based combat in which turn order is crucial to victory. Use special techniques to control the order of actions. Or activate team combos to swing the tide of battle in your favor. Saga Emerald Beyond launches That has Nintendo to be Switch related to this year. series. The, the Unlimited Saga, whatever the, the heck. Raider I... Returns. What? The first three Tomb Raider games, all with upgraded visuals, are venturing onto Nintendo Switch in one... They didn't reduce the rack size! The Let's go! You travel the world and face off against deadly foes. But they and definitely didn't bother to redo any of the textures. Backflip and swan dive through perilous quests spanning different At least not countries color them in or anything. Mythologies. Oh, wait, Along never way, mind. You'll solve puzzles to uncover it treasures for of the ancient world and unravel mysteries lost to the ravages of time. This faithfully remastered trilogy comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each game. You can also toggle between the original polygon look and the upgraded visuals at any time. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered, starring Lara Croft, launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I ain't touching that. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. Every are great two of these, or is this the first one? Early. This is Rhyme City. Returns. Okay, where that means there's two. Pokemon coexist. The detective duo of Pikachu and his partner Tim investigate various cases while searching for Harry, Tim's missing father. Who? Tim interviews people. Pikachu interviews Pokemon. Finally. And they find the truth together. This is the game I was trying to show you guys. They'll also rely on Unlimited Saga. Pokemon to broaden the scope of Stupid their investigations. Sticker. That's been there for years. Follow sense with Growlithe. Smash rocks with Darmanitan. And peer through walls with Luxray. Can Tim and Pikachu solve all the mysteries and find Harry? Find out when Detective Pikachu returns. Launches on Nintendo Switch October 6th. Wasn't that the plot of the movie? I don't know. I didn't see the movie. This game's a real toot. Trombone champ. Raise your brass for the quirky rhythm game, Trombone Champ. Okay. Play the notes in time with the music as best you can. But how you play that horn is up to you. You can use gyro controls to adjust the pitch up and down. Or the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con controller. The controls okay, that's are interesting, actually. pretty unique. And mastering every control scheme won't be a walk in the park. Honk your way through nearly it's definitely not what I expected. Spanning various genres. Japan, what you doing, little bro? What do you mean? And this game was on PC and it was a hit for a while. Yo, wait, online? In local multiplayer. Oh, oh, it's not online, it's local. Trombone champ slides on sounds Nintendo like madness. Switch later today. Battle your way to victory in these Nintendo Switch games. Make him big when you do that. Oh, when I show the game case off. 
Uh, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Oh, come on. Battle your crush. Opponent's help down to zero and deliver a finishing blow or shove him off the collapsing terrain to win. Okay, this Here's game lasts at maximum one month. By a different mythology. Work with your allies to be the last team standing. Battle Crush is free to play and launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next spring. A close beta test will be available this October. Lead your mercy your battle royale and I sleep in this open world I don't think that's enough RPG. to say that I sleep well I guess it is because it's from thieves you can kind of tell when people aren't trying you know before battle equip your that one I believe that they tried but I don't think it's gonna last very long and live to see another day up to four players online can jointly command a troop and journey together across this vast world War Tales launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch later today. Oh, wait, is that the game that got delayed? In this reimagining of the beloved NES classic, Contra. Oh, damn. Blast through explosive stages with a devastating arc. Someone get Avatar Prince on the line. He's going to love this. Falcon forces. Spring into action with easy pick up and play controls and a variety of difficulty options. This reimagining from Konami and Way Forward features new weapons, enemies, powerful super attacks, and a four player co op mode. Contra Operation Galuga storms onto the Nintendo Switch system early next year. Liberate your kingdom, reclaim your destiny. Is a grievous tale which speaks of Febrith, one of stolen destiny, stolen minds, and stolen nations. Yet as the world stands consumed by immense evil, a fallen prince shall rise again, ring of legend lighting his path. That is the ring of the unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors this? wielding it to purify evil. Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is what to walk it. What am I it. looking at? Walk it I will, Mother. Freely traverse an expansive world. Gather new allies. Artistically, I kind of like it, but... Liberation to glorious victory. It looks... Cultivate a grand army weird. with 60 unique characters. From humans and elves. That was a furry. That was a furry bait character if I've ever seen one. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, months, or even years. Okay, this I has to be made by the same people that made Dragon's field. Crown. The art Tactics style is too similar. And Vanillaware present the rebirth of tactical fantasy RPGs. Unicorn Overlord. That. March 8th, 2024. That sure is a name. Are you complaining about furries? You like one of the kakas? They are mostly human. You have no room to complain. Okay. Yo, hey, new Luigi's Mansion? Or can we finally get a port of the old Luigi's Mansion? Can that happen, please? Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Okay. Thank you. Thank Welcome you. to Evershade Valley. I guess it's better than nothing. Screaming and teeming with the supernatural. Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it out. Nintendo fans. Hey, Nintendo, can we get like a port of the GameCube games? Nintendo. No spooky GameCube? Is what the hell is a GameCube? This get out of my device, office. The Poltergust. Use it to light up dark areas. Vacuum up objects and interact with the environment. It's a handy tool for your paranormal escapades. Plus, when you spot a ghost, pop! You can stun them with the strobe ball, then vacuum them up. You can even grab multiple ghosts at once. Dark in Moon series Resident Sleeper. I thought people haunted. liked this game. A former plant research lab. A broken down clock factory that's full of sand. 
a mine covered in ice and snow, and even more places. These troublemakers will use every trick in the book to block your path. Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise what? across different multiplayer modes. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD creeps onto Nintendo Switch next summer. The only good Luigi's Mansion is the first one done at me. I can't. We have I haven't played two or three, so I'm not going to question that one. First, please take a look at this video. Hey viewer, how about you stop asking for stuff and buy some Nintendo stuff? And how about you be nicer when you ask? Use the magic word. Maybe I'll use the magic word when you, you know, respect the fans that you've had for however many years. What's that? It's a large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. Okay. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. That's cool. At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. Construction is going well, and we plan to finish up by March 2024. We'll share the place where we will remember that we had all these games, but not Please distribute any of the games at all ever. Next, we'd like to share some Only remember old thing. Amiibo Don't ever figures. play old thing. The Zelda and Ganondorf amiibo figures are releasing on November 3rd. I don't know what I'm complaining about. I do Noah like that they're reporting the, the history of Nintendo Street like that. ...will be released as a set on January 19th, 2024. Hmm. And finally, we have a new amiibo figure to announce. The DLC fighter from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, no, Sora no, Parts, is on the way. With the release of Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in amiibo form. Please look forward to its release next year. That's all for today's amiibo <laughs> announcement. Next, please take a look at this. I haven't bought any amiibos yet at all. That's gonna be the thing that breaks me. Wait, 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 wait. This better be more than what you're showing right now. Returns as a 99 player battle royale. I wanna give you the finger right now, Nintendo. I really do, but F Zero courses with machines from the original Super NES game. Tear Why? through courses in high-speed races, Why? but be careful. Your power meter will decrease if you crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, you're out. Who's who's the Don't one that started the conversation earlier this week about a battle royale race. racing game? Who's the one that cursed us with Feeling this? Risky? I need Spend to fight him. I don't remember who brought it up in the chat. Boost. I just remember talking about it when I got back on Tuesday playing you can Apex. Also collect super sparks, which appear when machines collide, Ooh. to boost up to a special path called the Skyway. Wasn't that you? I, I, I don't think so. Rivals, I remember saying it would be position. an okay idea, but I didn't want it to happen with this. Complete goals while you're racing to unlock cosmetic options for your machine. Why? 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 99 players, one winner. The worst it's part about this is I'm gonna play it. First place. Because F-099 will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch Online members later today. Ah! <laughs> More than 30 years after its original gonna, release, gonna... F-Zero is back as a battle royale game. This title also supports the Super NES controller available exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. We hope you will give it a try and aim for first place. Okay, let's continue with some more headlines. When One is later zero. today? Is that after the problem. absolute state of play or is that... Before. Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical this is a League of Legends game inhabited by small fuzzy beings called Yordles. After a yeah, party gets a little too wild, the portals holding the land together collapse and throw everything into chaos. 
It's up to you and your knitting magic to stitch Bandel City back together. Journey across the land to gather materials and craft items and meals for the locals. As you continue gathering and crafting, you can weave together new upgrades by I don't want to watch more anymore, man. That, that F099 thing just... By my spirit left my body. ...and hosting festivals for the community. <laughs> can you save Bandel City? And what mysteries will you discover during your magical adventure? Bandle Tale, a League of Legends story, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Man who thought he had lost Wait, all hope, did you hear that? lost Join additional small bit of hope new, new, he didn't even know he had. On a journey across the frozen wilds of the Freljord. Jump, climb, and sled your way through a beautiful yet treacherous land where every step taken and each puzzle solved will bring you closer to the truth about these friends and their past. Man. Song of Nunu, a League of Legends Wait, story. That's Launches not what I remember Nintendo them Switch looking system like. November 1st. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Let's move into formation. Play with these chops doesn't feel like a prize. Welcome to the island. This tropical resort contains tons of micro games that'll get your body moving. In each micro game, you'll get into a specific pose called a form. Copy the form shown, then perform the correct action as quick as you can. Okay. This is an interesting party game. The micro games will come one after another, so look alive. Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Are you actually talking weird chat? He's done that before. Getting caught by Medusa. Three. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer modes aplenty, everyone's in for a wacky time. What did I just While look at? Wait, whoa, what was that? Launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 3rd. I can go back, but I don't think I will. A heroic tale will soon unfold. Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle. Okay, this looks nice. And put an end to an empire's invasion. Meet Noah, a humble villager. Sane, an officer from the empire. And Marissa, a forest guardian. These three band together to fight for a common goal. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join their cause. This is just Sui this is your home base, known as the headquarters. As allies join you, additional facilities will become available. You'll be able to tend crops, open shops, and more. Each hero you encounter has their own backstory and motivation. They may not always for an RPG. get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Trust. At least hit me with a trailer that... Justice. And Don't truth. give me a frame rate drop. Please, dude. Tale will begin. God, the graphics. The graphics are fine. I don't know what you're on about. Heroes launches on Nintendo Switch, April 23rd. Stylistically, I definitely believe it's distinct. The only other game play. that I remembered looking like that is Octopath Traveler. Next stop, Octopia. Travel to a charming parallel world in this paid DLC for Eastward. Help Sam and John turn know what the Eastward pages is. of a new chapter as they adjust to country life in a mountainside village. Tend to livestock. Whip up culinary delights for your neighbors. And restore buildings to help the village thrive. And if that you're new to stuff they were Wait, worry. you mean when the you action was happening? What do you mean? That has even if you haven't played the main That story. had a bit of a Eastward, Super Octopia, Mario Bros Z feel to Nintendo it. Switch, if you know what I mean. This holiday with old flash animations that got hype. Get back into the groove. In this war groove to too. War groove, charge across three Wasn't this announced forever ago? Factions, including a new mouse folk faction, the Fari. Plus, you can now supercharge your commander's groove to unleash devastating attacks. 
Lead a roguelike offensive in conquest mode. Mm. Battle friends locally or online. Or create and share your own cutscenes and campaigns. War Groove 2 marches onto Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive October 5th. Get out of my way! Pre orders begin today. Is that guy's name Rodna? Okay. Don't insult Super Mario Bros. Z by, by comparing that garbage. Why are you such a day? hater? Then serve them as sushi by night and the aquatic adventure what the Dave heck, the man. Diver. Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes and create the day's menu. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Explore an ever-changing underwater world to find the best ingredients and strive to exceed culinary expectations. Dave the Diver launches first for consoles on the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. Pre What's so interesting about this game? E later today. A lot of people are singing its praise, and I'm wondering why. Here's a sneak peek at Wave 6, the final wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. From the Mario Kart Wii game, Daisy Circuit. More returning characters are also being added in Wave 6. From the hmm. Mario Kart Double Dash game, Diddy Kong. From Mario Kart Wii, Funky Kong. What about the rest of the Kong family? And from the Mario Kart Yo, game, Yo, all Pauline. right, Pauline, let's go. And also, P-Jet. What? This is a wasted slot. I'm, I don't like Wave saying wasted slot often, but that is like for the dictionary Kart definition. Kart wasted slot. What the holiday. heck? <laughs> Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Why? Something new is among us. Wasn't this announced forever ago? If this is the same thing as it was before, that I remember seeing before. Pretty cool. This new map for Among Us is free and launches this October. What did you think? Thanks for sticking with us this far. Next up, we'd like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September onwards. Let's take a look. Wondering what I'm doing right now? I'm getting on my Switch to download F-099 because I'm a nin toddler. Alternatively known as a nin ten year old. We hope you're looking forward to these upcoming titles. This next video will be our last announcement. Please take a look. It's not gonna be anything worth On. Is 
is this? Thousand year door. Yo, wait. I take it back. I take it all back. Nintendo stay winning. I can finally finish this game. <laughs> In the original game? I actually don't remember. I think it was. Nintendo, you don't ever do this. Paper Mario Why did you do this now? Originally released on Nintendo GameCube, will return with enhanced graphics. Whether you played the original, whatever. I, at least we're getting it. We hope you look forward to experiencing this adventure in a. Paper Usually, when you make announcements like these, you're you have the decency to make someone wait at maximum like a week. Thank you for watching. But here we are. I gotta wait until next year. Whatever. Whatever. Look at my face. Oops, that's gonna play more of the video. I don't want you to play any of the video, because it's done. Alright, the absolute state of play is when now? 5? 5 p.m. Hang on. So, what's it called? Ah, uh, shoot. Apparently, input my password. Ah, that switch. The switch makes me want to use a stylus, even though that's not a thing. Uh, what's it called? What's up, Oka? What's up, Marching Lax? Sleeper direct IMO. Yeah. But we got Thousand Year Door remake or remaster or port. What? I guess it's remaster. Yeah, it's a remaster. So I'm kind of happy. The rest was definitely forgettable. I'm still mad about them spitting in the face of F Zero fans, though. That one was. I really feel like I got baited. Really and truly feel like I got baited. That wasn't fair. That was just not fair. Oh, right, Game Duel. Hey, I almost forgot about this. You also got your racing VR. You asked for that. I wanted it, but not... Not... Not from the most basic, bare-bones form of... Of, um... Of F-Zero. No. No, I wanted, like, a, the real, full F-Zero experience. Like F-Zero GX, I never got to experience that as a kid. 
And I know that that was like the best F-Zero game that existed. I only got to experience the Game Boy ones. And while I did enjoy them, like I said, they're bare bones. They're bare freaking bones. This is a Mario Kart game. Mario Kart, it's not 64. It, I don't know which one. It's not DS. Doesn't think, I don't think it's Wii. Super Circuit? The heck is Super Circuit? No, is this Mario? This is Mario Party. Oh no. Oh no, bro. Ooh, I need a number. I need a number. <laughs> Time to be more specific with your wish. A finger on the monkey's paw curls. Not fair. Hang on. How do I have to spell F zero? Nope. Nope. Is it F dash zero? This has done nothing for me. Okay, I guess it's not available yet. Cool. Thanks for lying to me, Nintendo Direct. Which Mario Kart is this? Let's go with seven. Not Kart. Mario Party is this. Let's go, let's go with seven. Nope. Five. No, this can't be one. Four was on the GameCube, right? Five has to have been past that. This is at the very minimum a Wii game. Is this Superstars? Nope. I I freaking lost, bro. Super Mario Party. Yeah, I lost. Nine. Okay, we didn't lose. We still in the good. Still in the good. Uh. You mean I can buy a copy of Mario Thousand Year Door and not sell my kidney on the black market for a GameCube copy? Yes. Yes, you can. It's crazy. You know, you know what's funny? I was complaining that entire Direct about them not porting GameCube games, and they finally did it. They finally did it. And that was the end of the Direct. Yo, bald man, read, please? What? What's this? Freaking look at my face before I end up pulling up whatever image you send. F-099 game returns to 99 player Battle Royale F-099, active exclusive, available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch Online members today. Yeah, today. It's today. That's crazy. What's the time? What's the time EST? Eastern Standard Time. I would look for that. I am an active Nintendo Online member. That is a thing. It's today, Steve. That's great. Cool. Thank you. This is Doom. This is Doom 2016. Didn't even need to think about that. Keywords. Cat, cow, dog, fox, pig. Cool, thank you. Bunch of animals. Uh, zoo planet. Zoo tycoon. Nope. Simulator game. Frog, goat, lion, wolf, horse, shark, sheep. Thanks. Thanks. Screw you, dude! What the heck? Turtle, chicken, farming, gorilla, fishing, octopus, and giraffe. What? Star Fox? I'm about to... Kangaroo, Shopping, Skeleton, Squirrel, Alligator, Minigames, Tarantula. Is he serious? Are you serious? Bro guessed Star Fox. I sure did, because all I'm getting are animals. Is this The Sims? I don't know anything about The Sims. No. 
Rhinoceros, Restoration, Anthropomorphism, Black Market, Dialogue Trees, Never Ending, Daily Content. Sub Lucas. Man, that Nintendo F Zero game got me sad. They murdered my boy. I know, dude. I. <laughs> this is my fault, Lucas. If there's anyone to be sad or angry yet, it's me. I talked about having a BR racing game this Tuesday, and God looked down upon me and said, Bet. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Rhinoceros Restoration. What is this? I got it on first guess, and I only got it because you played it. I would not know about that game otherwise. What? What? Are you joking? I'm not joking. I don't know what you're talking about. Super Auto Pets? I don't think I did that. It's not in here. You'll get it on cover? Probably. Is this... This is probably a roguelike, right? Is it Stardew Valley? Animal Crossing, okay. Ah, oh, shoot. Ooh. Oh, wait. That's right, we're gonna cheat. Ah, uh, I can't see it from here. I cannot see it from here. New Leaf is the one for the... Yeah, that's the 3DS. New Horizons, Wild World, I think, is the mobile game. It has to be New Horizons. What do you mean it's Wild World? No. <laughs> All Animal Crossing games look the same. Oh. Sad, very. God looked down upon me and said, Child, you play Lucky Chloe. Ain't no way to save your ass in heaven. I'm sending you downtown, and I don't mean my boy Satan. I'm sending you to Florida in hopes you live long enough to regret your choice. Quote God. <laughs> what an epic fail by Steets. Epic fail. You just remind me of that one line in, um... Beyond Two Souls? No, that's the wrong one. Um, Life is Strange, that's the one. Where What's-Her-Name with the blue hair says that was an epic win. The game aged like milk. <sighs> what am I doing? Oh, right, I'm playing... The rhythm game with the monkey. I think he's a monkey. I don't really know. <sighs> ah! Oh, wait. I gotta separate the bots. I almost forgot about that. 